Hello, Body and Soul community. My name is Lyric. I'm here to unpack today's market box. This is an example of some of the produce that will be going out today, Tuesday, June 16th, at our NARC. At our Hello, Body and Soul community. My name is Lyric. I'm here to unpack today's market box. This is an example of some of the produce that will be going out today, Tuesday, June 16th at our no-cost produce market. This is not all of the food that's going out at market. I'm sure your box will look different than mine. You might have some local foods in there. We have herbs and greens and local tofu. We have local peaches today, which is really exciting. Um, so I'm, I'm excited for you to open your box and see what you have. And for now, we'll look at some storage tips, nutrition info, and recipe ideas for what is in my box. So the first thing I see popping out of my box is some sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread. Uh, this is local from Annie's Bakery. We're so grateful to have lots of bread from Annie's all the time at our markets. New Sprout Organic Farms, local kale. This is dino kale. That's, um, that's a variety, it's commonly called dino kale. Um, it's different than the curly kale in, in how it looks, but you can use it in much the same way in your favorite kale recipes. You want to store this in the fridge, um, in your veggie drawer is a great place, and kale has a lot of iron and calcium and dark leafy green nutrition. I have some grapes, green grapes. These are high in vitamin C and manganese. These come in a container so I can store them just like this in my fridge. And you can use grapes in lots of recipes. I think most people just like to snack on them by themselves, but I will be doing a potato salad recipe video today. Some people like grapes in their potato salad. Um, maybe you're one of those people. I am not, but that would be an exciting way to use your grapes. I have some local No Evil Foods. This is a plant-based meat substitute, so there's no meat. Um, and this is their like mock chicken. It's called Comrade Cluck. Um, so you could use this in your favorite chicken recipes. Please note it's not gluten-free, um, if that's a consideration for you. But it is plant-based, and it has a lot of protein, which is great, um, as, especially if you're transitioning from a meat-heavy diet. And you can store this in its package in the fridge for a few weeks. Um, if you need to store it longer than that, you can move it to your freezer. It'll store for a few months there. Ooh, I have a jalapeno pepper. This would be great to add a little bit of spice to any meal. You can use this raw or cooked. I'll probably put some in my potato salad, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. The seeds of the jalapeno tend to be spicier sometimes than the flesh itself. So if you want a less spicy uh, experience, you can de-seed the pepper, remove the seeds. And you want to store this in your fridge. Your veggie drawer would be a good place. And it'll store for, I would say, probably like a week, maybe a little bit more. I have some button mushrooms, some white button mushrooms. Um, I have some white button mushrooms. Mushrooms are a great plant-based source of protein. They're also a great source of vitamin D. A fun trick is that you can actually set your mushrooms out in the sun prior to adding them to your food and they'll actually absorb extra vitamin D, which is really cool. These come in a container as well. I can store them in here. If I open this and use a couple, I'll then put them in a Tupperware and keep them in my fridge. I have some bananas. These are pretty soft. Um, they have some big brown spots, so these would probably be a good candidate for freezing. You can take the peels off and freeze them in a bag and then use them for smoothies or banana bread later on. Um, always take the peels off before you freeze them though because then it's just easier. You're not trying to take the peel off of a frozen banana. Ooh, cauliflower. I have a big, beautiful cauliflower. Cauliflower is actually a really great source of vitamin C, which a lot of people don't think about. Uh, it also has a lot of fiber and vitamin B6. I love roasting cauliflower, um, but you can also eat it raw. You could shred it into cauliflower rice. Um, or you could just eat it, you know, like a veggie tray, you see chopped up pieces of cauliflower with maybe a dipping sauce. And you want to store this in your fridge. Um, I might even put this in a Tupperware, um, personally, just so that it stays fresher a little bit longer, because it's not wrapped. I have some tomatoes. Oh, look, they're still on the vine. These are a great source of antioxidants. You can use these raw or cooked, store them in your fridge and when they get a little bit soft, you know, it's really time to use them. At that point, you could even make sauce. I have an ear of corn. I have just one ear, um, so I'll probably actually cut the kernels off and then use the kernels as an ingredient in a dish. You could also grill this or boil this to eat like as corn on the cob. You just wanna remove all of the green 
um, husk and the silks, these um, ready pieces here. And you can store this in your fridge. I have a few different types of potatoes. They, ha they all have eyes on them and that's okay. I can just cut them right off. It doesn't mean the potato is bad. If this potato is really soft or if it was green on the outside or if it was brown on the inside, at that point I would probably compost it. But you can just go ahead and cut the eyes off. I'm gonna be making potato salad later uh, as a recipe video so you can check that out with some plant-based mayo. And you can store potatoes at room temperature. I have a zucchini and a yellow squash. I did a video uh, about some creative ways to enjoy these foods. You can find that on the Facebook page. It includes zucchini muffins, which I will warn you are delicious. I've been eating them, I've been making them so much since I made the video. They're a good plant-based source of protein and fiber and you wanna store them in your fridge. I have a few different types of citrus, oranges and limes. These would be great to juice. I have a home juicing video on the Facebook page so you can make orange juice or lime juice. You could also eat this on its own. Um, and of course, all citrus is a great source of vitamin C. Here's all the food that was in my market box today. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to hearing about how you enjoyed this food. Have a beautiful day.